Hello everyone, welcome to Mo's Kitchen. Today's recipe is going to be homemade chocolate syrup. That's right, stuff you get from a jar, I'm going to show you how to make it here in your own home. Tastes a lot better. Anyways, let's get started. So it starts off by whisking together water, sugar, corn syrup, and salt. Just so it comes into a boil on medium heat, just like that. Alright, and once it's at medium heat, you're going to add about a cup of a Dutch process or a higher fat cocoa powder. If you only have the regular kind, then that'll work too. Now, one big mistake I made in this recipe, and you're probably noticing it right now, my pan was way too small. I'd rather use a saucier for doing this over a saucepan, but again, if you've got a small saucier, it'll be a lot harder to mix it, and there's a chance it won't mix properly, so just use a bigger pan if you have to. Don't worry if it's a saucepan or a saucier. I just wanted to make it look better for YouTube. Now, you're going to have to wait a little bit for all this to come together. You're going to be sitting here doing this and think it's never going to work. It will. It might take a few minutes. It could take anywhere from 5 to 8 minutes, depending on your stove, your cooktop, and the pan you're using. It took me about 8 minutes, but it varies on, again, what you're doing. And I also know what you're thinking. This is very hypnotic, just looking at all this chocolate. And I would agree with you. Now, you're going to want to actually whisk it a lot faster than what I did. You don't want to do it this slow. But again, when I'm using a small pan, then I have no choice. Now, once everything's come together, you want to whisk it until it's slightly thickened. How long is it going to take? Again, it's really hard to say, but a 5 to 8 minute mark isn't a bad idea. I'll show you what it's going to look like. Okay, this is what you want to look for. See that consistent line pattern we're given? That means it's done. It's a little loose now, but it'll thicken up in a few hours. Don't worry. Now we're going to move it to a squeeze bottle. Okay, so a few things. One, lay a newspaper or a towel out, so if you spill any, it'll be a hard, hard mess to clean. Two, make sure you have a squeeze bottle from either a restaurant supply store or a very good one that can take high heat. Okay, and this will take a bit of time, so go slow and make sure you don't drop any on yourself. Okay, so you're going to want to keep this in the fridge, but again, after letting it sit out for an hour. Now, the only downfall to making your own syrup is it will harden, so you're going to have to heat it up in hot water for at least 10 minutes, but when you have the flavor, it's well worth it. It's kind of one of the reasons people don't make it at home. Now, the pan is going to be stained a lot with chocolate. Don't worry, I've got a plan for cleanup, and you're going to love it. Let's get started. Back on the stove, medium, medium high heat, pour about 2 cups of milk, but I just dye it really, and you're going to whisk this, and you're going to make the bottom stuff that's stuck into this, you're going to make a kind of a hot chocolate. When it gets a little hotter, you can add a bit more. It's going to be totally up to you, however dark or however rich you want this to taste, it's up to you. So basically you're just whisking till you're good and it's nice and hot, and then you got hot chocolate made from scratch as well. So I've got two recipes in this video, hope you enjoy it. So this is what the pan looks like when you pour out all the hot chocolate, then you can wipe it with a regular towel. That's how easy it is to clean. Now you could use a more abrasive brush on the edges of it. It'll be fine though. That's one of the reasons I wouldn't use Teflon for this recipe. These pans are way better for it, because the Teflon you can't use an abrasive pad. With these you can. And that's it. Homemade chocolate syrup from scratch. I hope you all enjoyed the recipe. Tell me what you thought about it. Leave me a comment guys, and go to my website, mos-kitchen.blogspot.ca. And as always, enjoy! Go to my website for the full recipe and all the details and a lot of advice. And you can follow me on these websites, guys. Have a nice day.